Liverpool could rue summer transfer choice with fresh insights on Andre Trindade's position. Liverpool isn't planning to acquire a new midfielder in January, but the same isn't certain for the defence. After failing to secure a new centre-back in the summer of 2020, the team faced challenges. Jarrell Kwanzaa's emergence has prevented a repeat of history this season, offering support alongside Virgil van Dijk, Ibrahima Kanate, Joel Matip, and Joe Gomez. Despite the availability of all five players, it contrasts starkly with three years ago when Liverpool struggled to replace Dejan Lovren. Fabinho and Jordan Henderson stepped up due to injuries, followed by loan signings of Orzan Kabak and Ben Davies. Eventually, an unconventional pairing of Nat Phillips and Reese Williams emerged. While Kwanzaa impresses, Liverpool acknowledges the need for reinforcement, especially in defence. Jurgen Klopp expressed openness to strengthening the squad, particularly in finding a quality centre-back. Despite links to players like Levi Colwell and Mickey van de Ven, the Reds seek a younger, left-sided centre-back. Kwanza, though performing well, doesn't precisely fit this mould. Looking ahead, the team aims for a long-term successor to Van Dijk and Matip. In the short term, considering Trent Alexander-Arnold's role as an inverted right-back, a versatile option as a hybrid left-back is also desirable. Initially, Andy Robertson struggled in a new position when Liverpool changed systems in April. He only found his form after adjustments that kept Alexander-Arnold wide or in a centre-back role, allowing him to attack instead of purely moving to midfield for a back three. However, Robertson's absence due to a shoulder injury makes it easier to lament Liverpool's failure to sign a preferred defensive option in the summer. Deputy Costa's Simicas hasn't been convincing in Robertson's absence, and his more attacking style differs from the Scots, making him a less comfortable hybrid fullback. Despite being benched for a game, Simicas hasn't seized the opportunity during Robertson's prolonged absence. When Robertson returns, he is likely to regain his first-choice status. However, when Liverpool considers a left-sided centre-back, whether in January or later, Simicas may feel uneasy about the potential impact on his Anfield career. Earlier this week, club sources rejected the idea of Liverpool signing a new holding midfielder in January, despite ongoing speculation linking the club with Fluminense's Andre Trindade, especially after securing Wataru Endo from VFB Stuttgart in the summer. The Japan international was part of a £150 million midfield overhaul to address shortcomings. However, the failure to sign a desired new defender in the summer raises questions about whether the same mid-season transfer stance applies to the Reds' defence. If Matip departs next summer, signing a new defender in 2024 becomes necessary. Simicas will continue to get starting opportunities in the coming weeks as Klopp rotates the squad. However, if he had been performing well, rotation might not be on a weekly basis, and his place in the side wouldn't be so uncertain. Liverpool's pursuit of a left-sided defender who excels both offensively and defensively in the new formation complicates Simicas's role. The team seeks someone speedy and proficient in attacking but also defensively solid for a back three. Even when Robertson was fit, it wasn't an ideal fit. With Robertson's return and the January transfer window approaching, it's time for Simicas, the deputy left back, to prove himself after securing a new long-term contract. After an unconvincing campaign so far, Simicas is at a critical juncture, playing for his long-term Liverpool future.